In global aviation, a single decision can send shockwaves across continents. This year, the United States temporarily blocked the export of critical jet engines to China for its new C919 passenger jet. This was more than a bureaucratic move, it was a direct challenge to China's ambitions in the sky. The ban exposed just how fragile and politically entangled the global supply chain has become. For a moment, the future of China's flagship aviation project hung in the balance, a symbol of national pride suddenly at the mercy of its greatest rival. The world watched as the C919, China's answer to Boeing and Airbus became a pawn in a larger tech war. The American ban targeted the very heart of the aircraft, its engines, revealing China's deep reliance on foreign technology. The implications stretched far beyond Comac's factory floors, touching every corner of the global aerospace industry. The temporary ban was a wake-up call. Even the most complex globalized industries are not immune to political whims. Though the ban was lifted, the threat remains, leaving a scar on US-China relations and reshaping strategic calculations worldwide. The C919 engine ban is about more than an airplane. It's about power, pride, and the precarious future of a connected world. It reveals the fault lines where the dream of technological independence clashes with the reality of global interdependence. To grasp the impact of the US engine ban, you need to understand the C919. Comac began developing this jet nearly two decades ago, aiming to challenge Boeing and Airbus. The C919 was meant to showcase China's technological rise and reduce dependence on foreign tech. But building a modern jet is one of the world's toughest engineering feats. While Comac designed and assembled the plane, most critical systems, engines, avionics, flight controls, come from Western giants. The C919 relies exclusively on the Leap 1C engine, made by a US-French joint venture. This engine powers the latest Boeing and Airbus models, making the C919 competitive but deeply vulnerable to US policy. Key systems for navigation and power are also American-made. In essence, the C919 has a Chinese passport but Western DNA. This dependence set the stage for confrontation. China's dream of aviation independence was flying on borrowed wings. The US ban reminded Beijing who controls the technology that keeps its flagship jet in the air. The C919 became less a symbol of self-reliance and more a case study in strategic vulnerability. The stage was set for a dramatic showdown. The simmering conflict erupted in spring 2025, the US, citing national security, suspended export licenses for the Leap 1C engines and other key components. The ban hit not just the C919, but also Comac's smaller regional jets and a range of avionics. Comac's ambitious production plans for 2025 were suddenly in jeopardy. The aerospace world held its breath as the ban threatened to halt the C919 assembly line. European partners especially France's Safran, were caught in the crossfire powerless as U.S. policy took precedence. The move sent a chilling message doing business with China's strategic industries now carried immense risk. Then, in July, the U.S. partially relented, lifting the outright ban on Leap 1C exports. The immediate crisis was averted, but stricter export controls remained. Washington had shown it could cripple the C919 program at will. The temporary ban was a warning shot leaving a cloud of uncertainty over Comac's future. The globalized supply chain, once a strength, had become a liability. The message was clear. The rules of the game had changed. The turbulence was far from over. The US export ban's impact was immediate and severe. Comac's Shanghai assembly line, poised for a production surge, ground to a halt. The company had planned to deliver 50 C919s in 2025, but the ban shattered those ambitions. Only five jets were delivered in the first half of the year, as nearly finished airframes sat idle without engines. The disruption rippled through China's supply chain, affecting hundreds of local companies. Major airlines, counting on the C919 for fleet expansion, faced delivery delays and public setbacks. The program, meant to symbolize China's independence, was now struggling due to reliance on American technology. Airline planners were forced to reconsider their strategies and optimism gave way to frustration. The dream of a homegrown alternative to Boeing and Airbus was still alive, but the path was proving far more turbulent than expected. The episode was a harsh lesson in the risks of global competition. 
the sky was suddenly much less certain. The C919 engine ban sent shockwaves through the global aviation ecosystem. Western suppliers like GE, Collins and Honeywell faced lost revenue and tough choices about their future in China. The joint venture between GE and Francis Safran was strained, highlighting how US policy could override European interests. International suppliers were forced to weigh the opportunities of the Chinese market against rising political risks. For Chinese airlines, delivery delays were a strategic setback, undermining plans to diversify away from Boeing and Airbus. The dependency China sought to escape was laid bare. The ban also sparked a surge in nationalist sentiment within China, fueling calls for technological self-sufficiency. On social media, and in state media, the US action was portrayed as an attempt to hold China back. Ironically, the ban may have strengthened public support for the very policies it aimed to counter. The unintended consequence, a more determined push for independence. The C919 ban was a calculated move in the US-China tech war. It wasn't just about engines, it was about asserting technological supremacy. The US used export controls as a weapon, willing to accept collateral damage to slow China's rise. For China, the episode exposed a painful truth. It still depends on the West for foundational technologies. Despite years of investment, China cannot yet produce a commercial jet engine that matches Western standards. The ban reinforced Beijing's conviction that technological self-reliance is a national security imperative. The global aerospace industry built on collaboration now faces the threat of fragmentation and higher costs. Companies may be forced to duplicate supply chains, raising prices, and slowing innovation. The ultimate cost is borne by everyone from manufacturers to airlines to passengers. The sky, once a symbol of connection, is now an arena for division. In response to the export ban, China accelerated its push for a homegrown jet engine, the CJ-1000A. Designed for the C919, the CJ-1000A has been in development for over a decade, but progress has been slow. The US action turned the project into a national priority. The first prototype ran in 2018 and flight tests began in 2023, but commercial certification is still years away. Most experts agree the engine won't be ready for mass production before 2030, if then. The technical challenges are immense, advanced materials, software and safety standards must all match Western benchmarks. Rushing is not an option when passenger safety is at stake. For now, the C919 remains dependent on Western engines, vulnerable to shifting political winds. China is investing billions, but the road to independence is long. The CJ-1000A is the centerpiece of China's strategy, but until it's ready, the C919's vulnerability remains. The lesson technological self-sufficiency is a marathon, not a sprint. Aviation analysts agree. Replacing Western technology is a generational challenge. Building a modern jet engine requires decades of expertise, specialized materials, and a vast supplier network. Russia's struggles after sanctions in 2022 serve as a cautionary tale. Ambitious plans often falter without access to Western components. Even with massive funding, closing the technology gap in aerospace is slow and difficult. Certification is another hurdle. The CJ-1000A must pass rigorous tests to be approved for commercial use, both in China and internationally. Trust and transparency are in short supply amid geopolitical tensions. True decoupling in aerospace is nearly impossible in the short term. The industry is too integrated. For now the C919 will remain a hybrid, a testament to China's ambition and Western dominance. China is trying to accomplish in 20 years what took the West 70. The determination is there but the timeline is unforgiving. As 2025 ends, the C919 engine crisis has left global aviation changed. The temporary ban shattered any illusion that commerce and geopolitics are separate. The future of the C919 and the industry is now overshadowed by the US-China tech war. For China, the ban is a rallying cry for technological independence, especially in jet engines and semiconductors. The CJ-1000A project is now a national crusade, with Beijing determined to close the technology gap. For the US and its allies, export controls achieve short-term goals but risk long-term consequences, pushing China to innovate and encouraging others to seek alternatives. American companies also risk losing access to the world's largest aviation market. The challenge is to balance strategic containment with the benefits of globalization. 
The stakes are high, a divided sky could mean less competition, slower innovation, and higher costs for all. The dream of seamless global air travel is threatened by great power politics. The C919 story is a reminder. In the 21st century the greatest turbulence may be found not at 30,000 feet, but in the rivalry between Washington and Beijing. The future of flight hangs in the balance. 